All right, so here we are making one of the easiest pasta dishes, also great for late nights. You're gonna need some very basic ingredients. Any type of spaghetti type pasta works, but I prefer bucatini. It's my go-to pasta. It has a hole in it, so sauce gets stuck in it. It's the best. Next, you're gonna need some extra virgin olive oil. Normally I cook with just olive oil, but use the nice stuff for this. Uh, you're gonna need about six cloves of garlic, some parsley. I'm not a huge parsley fan, so I don't use a ton, and some red pepper flakes. First off, I just cut the butt off the garlic. That's, you know, the, the end part there that's always browned. Just chop those off. Then you're going to peel your garlic very simply. So then I'm going to run it through the mandolin. It's just going to be a little easier than chopping it. And you're going to get the same uniform piece size, which I think is important. Because you do want the garlic to kind of break down in the olive oil. Once you're done with that, you have a nice little sized pile of garlic. I like to pull the stems off of the parsley. You can keep some on there, but anything that's you know long like that, that doesn't have any sort of leaf on it, just try to pull off as much of that as you can. Fine chop it as, as much as you can here, and you wanna get it into kind of nice, uh, small pieces. You're kind of using it as a garnish, but not. So get it as thin as you can, but it doesn't ultimately matter, but just get it nice and thin. Next, salt your water. I already had that boiling on the side just for ease. And throw in your pasta. This is going to take about nine minutes, it says the al dente. So I'm going to cook it for about eight minutes, which is enough time to make your sauce. I like to get the oil not super hot. When I put it in, I barely want to see it bubbling. You don't want to burn your garlic here. You want to cook them real nice and slow. Get them in there. By the end, you want them barely browned. You want them breaking down, making this a nice sauce. Check on your pasta, make sure none of the ends are sticking out. If you have a bigger pot, that works too. And then just keep stirring your garlic. Keep it moving, keep checking on the heat. You want to see little bubbles like that. You're not deep frying this, you're just sauteing it nicely, low heat, making sure it does not burn. At this point, you're going to add in your red pepper flakes, as many as you're comfortable with for heat. Mix that in, make sure it's you know combined well. And this right here is as far as you want to take the sauteing any more bubbles in this and you're potentially burning your garlic which you do not want now your pasta is ready i had some uh, pasta water on the side there incorporate that add your parsley and start to mix making this into a sauce is the most important part and you're going to need to really keep it moving and you're going to use that pasta water that's your best friend drag it to the side like that every once in a while you'll see there's still a lot of oil in it so add a little extra pasta water and just keep it moving scrape down the sides every once in a while to make sure that the garlic is reincorporated still a little too oily keep it moving you'll see when it comes together keep the heat on it and there that's perfect there's barely any oil it's always going to be a little oily but that's exactly where you want it pull it out at this point plate it you don't need cheese you don't need butter you don't need anything else there you go. You get a very beautiful plate of alio e olio. Enjoy.